All right, everybody. College basketball. Another week as we get closer and closer to the Christmas season. You know, some gifts are being given out. And new teams have made their way into the top 25, of course, such as Michigan. But now we get into the real juicy stuff. Again, most conferences are doing 20 conference games this year. So conference play is beginning. And for teams like Illinois, who lost it big time, non-conference matchups already this season, have a chance to start proving their muscle against opponents in their conference. Again, how will Illinois do this week? They have they have a ranked matchup on Sunday against Rutgers. I know, right? Rutgers, right? They're ranked in the top 25. Very talented team, Rutgers is. That should be a fun game. Um, there's also on Sunday, Sunday uh, the 20th, you know, Will Cade Cunningham and Oklahoma State go off against Texas. Oklahoma State has another conference matchup this week as well. Texas has a um, non-conference matchup and then a conference matchup with Oklahoma State. So uh, will Cade Cunningham go off? Will he go crazy? Will he go ham? Will he start to dominate this team? I don't know. Will Corona mess things up? Probably. And, you know, the big, there's really only one real big top 25 matchup this week, and that's Texas Tech, Kansas. But Texas Tech, the last time I saw them, which was late, which was, a, it was very late in the afternoon against Houston, and, and they did not look very good. So can they stop Kansas? Can that, can that happen? Louisville, Wisconsin, now is back on the table. So the ACC Big Ten Challenge is not over just yet. It is not over yet. But Saturday, Saturday is this Saturday is going to be one of the biggest non-conference days, one of the biggest days in college basketball that I've ever seen in my entire life. We have games all over the place again. Louisville, Wisconsin, I previewed last week. There's no reason to talk about that again. Because um, it got canceled, now it's back on for this Saturday. It was just announced a few minutes ago. Um, Iowa, Gonzaga, number one, number three. Hopefully we get this matchup in this time. Will Luka Garza dominate? Will Will he dominate this game? If he dominates this game, it, it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath on both sides. Don't just think it's going to be a one-sided affair. This game is going to be close. This game is going to be high scoring. This game is going to be one of the best games of the year. Iowa uh, Gonzaga. Gonzaga hasn't played in two weeks. They haven't played in over two weeks now. Are they going to look sluggish? Will Timmy, Suggs, Kispert, and all the all the crew on Gonzaga, are, are they sluggish? The depth is there. Again, the depth for Gonzaga is there. Will they have enough to stop Iowa? Because Iowa can shoot. They can throw it up and, and shoot it. The CBS Sports Classic is also this week. Kentucky, UCLA. UCLA has been rattling off victories ever since their loss to San Diego State. Who, by the way, has a couple of tough non-conference tests themselves in BYU and St. Mary's this week. And um, Johnny Juzang, he's coming back. He transferred from Kentucky. You know, and Jacquez Jaime. He's also a big player for UCLA. He's been scoring a lot, 15 points a game. And UCLA is clicking on all cylinders. Kentucky has to find a way to shoot the ball. They have to get jump shots in. They have to get three-pointers in. They have to do something to stop UCLA. Then Ohio State, North Carolina, I will probably watch this game as well. Um, the big thing for Ohio State is will EJ Liddell, who's their leading scorer right now, will he be available? CJ Walker, Zed Key, and other guys must step up for Ohio State during this time. And North Carolina, North Carolina's big thing is that they just can't lay there and take whatever Ohio State gives them. They got to force them to, to make shots. They got to force shots. They got to force everything. And if that doesn't happen, if Ohio State gets their way, gets inside the paint, gets inside, you know, good three-point range, you know, they get everything going their way, Ohio State will win this game. North Carolina has to get, they have to gel together, you know, they have to get it together. 
the Holiday Hoops Classic, as it is called, Virginia, Villanova. It can't be just Gillespie. And Villanova proved that a couple weeks ago. Or, yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. Again, or rather a couple days ago against Texas. It can't be just Gillespie. It has to be somebody. And Virginia's defense, they got to limit the big shots. They, I mean, when Virginia lost, you know, a couple weeks back, they did not limit the big shots. They did not limit, you know, the type of plays that you usually see the limit. So, Villanova can shoot the ball. They have shooters all over the place. Virginia has to get something in. And Villanova, they win this game. They're in good position. But again, conference play is started. It's starting up right now. It probably has already started. And things are looking fun. Um, just going to be a lot of good games on Saturday. Hopefully I can see a good chunk of them. But if not, then that's unfortunate. I'll watch the highlights or something like that. But, yeah. Big time Saturday. Big time week as conference play begins. And tests for these top 25 teams. Tests for teams that are still unbeaten and unranked. Like Xavier and Oklahoma State. You know, the, the, these types of games are what's needed. You know, who can prove themselves in big time games against big time opponents. That's what we're here for in college basketball. That's what we that's what we love to see. And of course don't forget the little guys. Little guys in smaller conferences that could be looking to get upsets in in other big time matchups throughout the week. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video later on talking about the NFL. See you then.